Casino stocks are also taking a hit. Contessa Brewer has the latest on those moves from HQ as well. Contessa. Yeah, Morgan, China concerns definitely weighing on those Macau-exposed casino stocks. We're also seeing the protests in Hong Kong dragging down share price. Let's start with when it's having it. Uh, it's on pace now for its worst day, down more than 6% could be the worst day of the year for that company. Melco Resorts off almost 5%. That's based in Hong Kong, um, but trades here in the United States. Las Vegas Sands, um, it is down now more than 3%, down 20% over the last three months. And lastly, MGM, which relies less heavily on its China revenue, off 2% now. Uh, just a little explainer here about the Hong Kong protests. They think because there's been such disruption in Hong Kong, it might actually be dissuading visits from Hong Kong to Macau, and then, of course, the currency concerns, the trade war impact on the VIP segment, which we've already seen lagging and seen disappointing numbers coming in there. And let's look at the U.S.-based casinos. What you're seeing there is investors running away from the risk associated with casinos in general. Some of these casinos have just finished M&A. They may have higher leverage levels than what is palatable right now. You can see Caesars off a percent and a half, Penn down uh, just less than one percent now. Boyd Gaming, uh, which is a strong locals casino, down a percent and a half, and Red Rock Resorts down two percent. I just wanted to mention we will hear from Caesars tonight on earnings and from El Dorado, which is buying Caesars and win tomorrow. So we'll get a better picture of what these companies have to say about the domestic picture here for risk and, of course, uh, from win about what's happening overseas in Macau.